Hey everybody, Gary McGowan here. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different, but kind of the same. We're gonna use our app on Realm on our phone to look at all the listings and all the information like that. It is awesome, it is fast, and it is so easy to use. So let's roll the intro and we'll dive into it. Yes, my friends, we are gonna jump onto the phone and use the mobile app for Realm. It is so awesome. And if you've been watching these videos over the last several months, thank you so much. And just like every other YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share these with your colleagues because this channel really is built to help our colleagues and ourselves grow by learning from each other. So let's pick up our phones. And if you haven't downloaded Realm, you can go do that. I'm on an Apple phone today, which I always am. And you can, I know you can download it through the, uh, the Google store if you're on an Android. I'm sorry for your loss there. But anyways, I joke. Uh, this is what I love about it. Once downloaded, and once you put in your username and password for the first time, and it's just like your Treb credential, credentials, uh, it has a feature in it for Face ID, which means you never have to toggle back and forth between the Authenticator, the Clarity app, to get that digit, uh, six digit code, or seven digit code, I should say, to put it in there. If you've got face activation um, activated, it's gonna log right in for you just by looking at the phone. It's pretty awesome. So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna launch the app here and we can dive into what is going on with Realm. So here we go. I have it up. This is the home screen and it always brings up the most recent listings or, or areas that you've been looking at. And just like on the, the desktop or laptop version, it's very easy to use. It is the exact same. That's what I love about it. They've taken both platforms and made them identical, which is pretty awesome. So the top right corner, you can see that my little um, uh, logo there, or my, the face of me, the face of me. Yeah, that's it. Uh, my picture, and I'm gonna click that first. And in here is my profile. I can edit it just like I wa was sitting at my laptop, and it's it's awesome. So if I hit edit profile, I can go in here and change all the settings and how the app responds. Uh, I can confirm that it's all correct with my information in here, and I can add stuff, hit save. Uh, if I want to personalize the invites, and I suggest that. Now, I haven't gone to do that, so I'm going to go do that right afterwards. Uh, change it uh, somewhat to your own personal writing and how you want your clients to uh, interact with you. Uh, all the notifications, you can change the notification settings in here as well, which is fantastic. I love this type of stuff. So some of the stuff I want in real time and other, other notifications, I, I just want daily. You know, it's, it's all great like that. So play around with the uh, with this function here and log into the system and, and change it to how you want it to interact. You can get uh, inter integrations with, with other, you can sync it with your contacts. This is really, really cool. So uh, if I got all my contacts in my phone, which I should, you can sync that right up, which is really, really cool and a great feature to have. So let's go back to the homepage. I'm gonna do that by hitting the Realm logo at the top left there and it's gonna take me to the home page. And just like on the desktop laptop version, or the web version, I should call it, it's got our, our stats, our news, recent trending and save list. It's all there, really, really easy to use. So I'm, I'm not gonna go any deeper into that. It, if you know how to, how to use the web version, it's the exact same here. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, how do I just search properties? I had a client call me and they wanna look at this property or I wanna go look at stuff. It's all really, really easy. Bottom left hand corner, you're gonna see that magnifying glass. I'm gonna choose that and it's gonna bring up the most recent search that I did. And there is a home right there you can see on, on Bell School line in Milton that I must have clicked and looked at. Well, if you're like me, I like looking at the map view and you can see the bottom right hand corner it says map so i'm just going to simply click that and it's going to bring up the ontario uh, the map of ontario and as and i can just move i'm just moving my finger around on the map i can zoom in just like on any other map and it's going to reef i must have clicked something there let me go back i can zoom in 
and it's just going to bring up all the listings in that area. It is so fast. It is fantastic. So let's go down to an area like New Market, for instance, and I'm going to zoom into there. So there's there's New Market. There's all the listings within that area. Now, perhaps I want to fine tune this. I can do that by hitting filters. So the bottom right there above the little house or the home icon, I'm going to hit filters and I can go in here and I can change that to say I, I just want to look up townhouses or I want to look up condos or I want to flip over if you can see here. I got freehold, condo, or commercial. I want to look up condos. I can do that too. Very, very easy to do. Uh, let's say I want to look up commercial buildings that are for lease. I can do that right now and hit apply and it's going to pull up everything that's for lease in this area of the map. I can zoom out and it'll refresh instantly, which is fantastic. Let's say I want to look at one of those leases. I can just click one here. It brings it up. I can click the image and it'll take me right to the listing and it provides everything that Treb Stratus would have. So all the information about who who the uh, listing agent is. Ryan Henry, good to see you. Well done, my friend. And I can actually click this to view it on Treb Stratus. It'll open up your web browser and go right to Treb Stratus. Now, what I have noticed when I do click uh, view on Stratus is it brings up Treb Stratus on your web, mobile web browser, but it doesn't take you to the direct listing. So I'm not sure if that's something that you're gonna be working on. However, all you need to do is type once it takes, I'm gonna do that right now. So we're gonna do two things here. We are going to get the MLS number, which you can see right under um, the price per square foot. Oops, that's immediate. I, I can copy that. And I just did that on my Apple phone by pressing down on it. And I'm gonna go view in Stratus and it's gonna open it right up in my web browser. And uh, Google Chrome is my preferred choice here. And as you can see, it didn't take me to the listing. However, uh, I can zoom in and do, um, like if I click listings, this is kind of, this is the tricky part here. I get click listings, as I said, and I can, I can put, put that in, I can search there, or I can just go, um, hit the listing search. And there's, there's many different ways to do this. And I can just paste what I just copied from from um, Realm and I hit continue and it'll take me right to that listing. And there you go. So then if you wanna see it that way, then you, you can have it like that. So uh, always different ways to look at it. So let's go back to the actual listing here. So it has all the information as you would get it anywhere else. And if I keep scrolling through here, it's gonna have the brokerage comments too, which is fantastic. And then of course, uh, some of the information here about the previous or the property history, which is fantastic. So I hit back and if I wanna continue search, I'm just gonna close that little window there and I can move my map around. Uh, let's say I don't wanna look at commercial. I wanna look at some of the sold properties in the new market area over the last couple of weeks. So that's easy enough. I'm gonna flip it back and clear my search criteria and flip it back to freehold, uncheck commercial, and I'm gonna uncheck available and I'm gonna do unavailable and I'm gonna do sold just like you would on Treb Stratus. And our sold date, I only want to go back, let's just say to the beginning of January and click that, done, hit apply. And now all the sold listings where my map is will come up. How fast is that? I love how fast it is. <laughs> I just love it. And again, if I want more information, I just click on that. Yeah, I can see the sold uh, date there. Uh, when, when the house is actually going to uh, complete the, the sale and I can just click into it and get all the information, the sole price and what have you, which is great. And just like any other listing on Treb Stratus, all the information is there. I will, it, I just love how fast is it. I, so I was searching a new market. I want to go down to Richmond Hill, for instance, and zoom in there and give it a second. Boom. All those sold properties come up really, really easy to use. Um, let's say I want to um, click this listing in here and I want to send this. I can do a couple of different ways. I click that top right blue button and I can hit share, add to list. Uh, I can print it. If so if your phone is connected to your local printer where you are, uh, you can print it that way. So really, really easy stuff. Uh, let's go back to the home page here and it has uh, the stats. So if I click the stats, it'll pull up the 
Toronto stats and so forth, and I can go through the different areas for that as well. Uh, what else do we have here that's important? Um, click the home button, that'll always take us back. So there's two ways to go back to the home screen, and it's always at the logo, the round logo, or the home button uh, right in the middle of the top screen there. I can add contacts in here, so at the bottom, I hit the little phone book or the contact list, and uh, there's my test account there for Oliver. I can add one in here, so uh, Joe, or ho, Joe, buyer, he's a great buyer, and I can add all of his all of his contact information in here, and um, and and stay connected that way, and. I can, once I do that, I can add search criteria for Joe or for that contact and boom, it's done. Like I said, this is very, very user friendly. So uh, that that's fantastic. Back to the home screen. This is so easy to use. Uh, you can, of course, here's, let me go back into the map because I like doing this too. Um, so I got this little area of Richmond Hill, and we're, if you recall, we were looking at sold properties. I don't want to look up at them on the map view. I want to look at them in the list view. All I have to do in the bottom right-hand corner where we've got list and filters, I just need to click list, and those homes within that map search will come up right there, and I can scroll through them, which is really, really cool, and it makes it so much faster as I, as I just scroll here. Uh, let's go back to the map and perhaps I'm going to change the filter a little bit and I want to look at, th this is, this is how easy it is to change. So, um, let me change it. I'm going to go back to available and I want to see what new listings have come up over the last, I can do, I can search by bedrooms. I can search by bathrooms and all your typical search criteria comes up. But if there's something really unique that you want to add, just keep scrolling down to the bottom. And of course the add field there is right there and you can go put in that customized uh, search criteria, which is um, very, very helpful. Uh, I can search by the area up here. So if I wanted to go into Markham, I just start typing Markham and it comes up and I can get very specific like that, hit apply and all the listings in Markham will come up and it drew, drew the map around Markham for me. Uh, I can hit remove shapes there in the top right corner and it goes back to our default. If I go back to the map setting, um, this is something that I want to look at too. Let me go back to, sorry, back to filters and um, make sure there's no filters on this. Good, good. And here's what I want to do. I want to go zoom into here and I'm looking at, so if you notice, I'm looking at, this is where it gets really confusing. I'm glad this came up. If you notice, I'm looking at homes that are for sale and for lease. And that can be a little overwhelming. I don't need to look at all that. I need to fine tune that. So we're going to go back to filters. And if we, if you notice right underneath freehold and commercial sale, sublease or lease is not checked, which means it's going to bring everything in. So let's go back and choose sale and hit apply. And now everything that's for sale is going to come up in this area, which is, which is now much more helpful. Uh, but I only want to look in a specific area, just like on the, on the web version, I can draw a shape by by choosing the, the pencil and I can just start drawing a shape on here. Just like that. So I choose the pencil, draw my shape, and now I'm only looking that, at that specific area and I can always hit remove shapes. I can hit delete right there and it'll, it'll default back. So again, I hit the pencil, I pick a point on the map and I just start drawing and boom, it's, that's how easy it is. So there's my perfect box. <laughs> but this is what's really cool with Realm. Uh, the same experience that you have on the desktop or the web version, you're gonna have the same experience on the mobile version, which is fantastic. So there's a quick little video on how to use Realm on the mobile version. Download it from the, from the App Store. And if you have any more questions, Put them down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them or look them up and find the answer for you. Always fun doing the videos and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.